Hi viewers, welcome back to yet another video in which we will be solving a problem from the chapter 1 of the book Strength of Materials written by Timoshenko and Giri. So in this particular problem we have two plates or we can say two bars and they are connected together using two splice plates splice plates like one on the top and one on at the bottom and we are using two rivets so the diameter of the rivet is 15 mm it is given then it is given that the ultimate tensile strength of the plate is 400 mpa ultimate tensile strength so let me sigma tensile sigma ultimate tensile then the sigma shear ultimate for the rivet is given as 180 mpa so these are uh, the strengths of the respective materials that goes into the design they are useful when you are asked to do something when you are asked to design or when you are asked to calculate the maximum load carrying capability of this particular joint so here considering a factor of safety of 2 against the ultimate tensile strength and against the ultimate shear strength they are asking us to calculate what is the maximum load carrying capability what is p so i hope i have conveyed the question pause the video try to do it on your own then listen to the rest of the video so having said that now let's try to solve this problem so let's say here i'm using a factor of safety of 2.5 then my sigma allowable in the bar will be not 200 mpa it will be let me raise this that was written for a factor of safety of 2 but for a factor of safety of 2.5 that will be 400 divided by 2.5 that will be the allowable stress with that allowable stress what is the maximum load that the bar can carry so it will be again correction here this should be 400 mpa divided by 2.5 it's always good that mm, you carry the units along with you so that you won't uh, finally miss out on something or you forget some kind of unit conversion in between so that's uh, something which i do often you can follow the trick if you like it so width of the bar is 20 mm and the thickness is 10 mm as clearly given in the problem so now it's matter a matter of just uh, running the mathematical crack so it will be less than for um, 40,000 newtons let me get the number so this will come around 32,000 newtons or in other words it is 32 kilo newton. So this is the maximum load carrying capability considering only our good friend bar. So I have just considered this particular fellow only. But we have two things in our design. So we have rivets also in our design and rivets usually will fail in shear and you know this is the ultimate shear strength of the of the rivet material and we need to design or we need to calculate what is the maximum load carrying capability that this particular rivet has got with a factor of safety of 2.5 now let's go ahead and do that so we have oh i have that free body diagram over here so 
let me get the other picture too oh, I have it here then so this I'm just taking this little portion over here this little portion over here and then I'm I'm zooming it okay so mm -hmm. this will be the free body diagram of the rivet and now let's go ahead and calculate the shear stresses that will be generated in the uh, rivet the rivet is of diameter 50 mm 15 mm okay 1 5 mm mm, now we know the maximum shear capability or the ultimate shear strength of the rivet material is 180 MPa and you have a factor of safety of 2.5 so allowable shear stress will be this much good so go, this particular rivet the other key thing is that this particular kind of loading is a double shear double shear uh, is that there are two areas to shear if this particular if this particular plate has to come off out of the assembly then or the areas that is resisting the motion of this particular bar is there are two areas there one is this one and the other is this one so now having established that this is the allowable shear stress that my material can have for a prescribed factor of safety then going ahead to the load computation the permissible load will be like this allowable shear stress times the area again i am making sorry i am using consistent units 180 divided by 2.5 that's an obel shear stress into the area rivets are of dia 15 mm and always remember i have used a 2 here because the whole assembly or the whole rivet is in double shear so that's why i used a 2 over there so now considering the two design elements uh, initially I considered uh, the safe design of the steel bar which was loaded in tension and second I considered the safe design of my rivet according to the taking into account their material properties and all those stuff so in the first case I obtained that the maximum load the system can withstand uh, or the joint can withstand is 32 kilonewton and in the second case for the safe performance of your rivets the load was around 25.4 kilonewton so now what is the maximum load carrying capability of this assembly it is the minimum of these two values it's pretty common sense because if you apply a load of let's say 30 kilonewton then your bar won't fail but your rivet might have failed at an earlier instant so that's why we take the minimum of these two values so that the whole assembly will function as it is intended to function thanks for watching so the load carrying capability of this particular joint is this one over here it is 25.4 kilonewton thanks for watching